Time for tonight's rewrite. Republicans are feared and get laughed at because of their denials of science, their recklessness about raising the debt ceiling, their unwillingness to separate church and state, and their apparent belief that government gets everything it tries to do wrong, except when it decides to kill people. Governor Perry, a question about Texas. Um, uh, your state has executed 234 death row inmates, more than any other governor in modern times. Have you... There is so much madness and so many lies flying around the Republican debates that it's hard to keep track of all of them. Here's one that passes uncontested by most debate moderators and is ignored by most commentators who are busy dealing with more dramatic nuttiness in the Republican debates. He had $800 billion worth of stimulus in the first round of stimulus. It created zero jobs. 400 plus billion dollars in this package, and I can do the math on that one, half of zero jobs is going to be zero jobs. Okay, in fact, as everyone watching this show knows, the president's stimulus package actually created millions of jobs. It also saved state and local government jobs for workers who would have been laid off if their states had not been suddenly flooded with federal cash. In the state of Texas alone, the stimulus created at least 125,000 jobs. Indeed, the great Perry success story of surging employment in Texas during his tenure as governor is largely attributable to government jobs. It is also mythology, of course, because it has a higher unemployment rate than many other states. In the decade that Rick Perry has been the governor of Texas, his state has added 287,400 government jobs. In fact, the number of government jobs in Texas has grown at more than double the rate of private sector employment during Perry's tenure. But Republicans will continue to laugh at the idea that the stimulus created jobs, just as they laugh at any discussion of the science of evolution. The biggest liar about government jobs in Texas, Rick Perry, will probably be able to get away with his lies in the debates because no matter how many public school teachers get hired to teach their children, no matter how many police officers pull them over for drunk driving, no matter how many of their relatives and friends get jobs as prison guards, no matter how many air traffic controllers save them from dying every day, it has become a matter of religious belief for Republicans that government does not create jobs. The Republican grip on reality has been loosening every day for years now. We are moving ever closer to the point where the diagnosis of their collective dementia may have to declare them lost to reality forever. How much more lost can these people get? Your state has executed 234 death row inmates. Those people believe this. America is going to be guided by some set of values. The question is going to be whose values. It's those Christian values that this country was based upon. The good Christian, Rick Perry, will continue to be cheered by the lynch mobs in the Republican presidential debate audiences who don't seem to know that Christianity was founded on the teachings of a man who was unfairly put to death by government, executed Rick Perry style. Republicans have been asked many times to consider what would Jesus do when faced with governing questions of how we should share our burdens. Tonight, I ask Republicans to consider what would Rick Perry do if some 2,000 years ago he had been the prefect of the Roman province of Judea instead of Pontius Pilate.